After the Bell, presented by Nathaniel Lee, Attorney at Law. All right, let's go ahead and welcome in Brian Martin from Los Angeles with our After the Bell report. So, Brian, the labor market just hasn't cooled off as much as the Fed would like. Yeah, Phil, Alexis, good evening to both of you. We just got some stats from the month of September. There were 10.7 million job openings that month. Now, according to the Federal Reserve, that's way too high. It's actually went up from the 10.3 million openings we had back in August. Here's the problem. The Fed thought those interest rate hikes would make that number go down. It instead went up. And the Fed says this labor shortage is adding to high inflation, causing wages to spike. By the way, tomorrow we're expecting yet another 75-point basis hike. On the markets today, all three indexes were in the red. The Dow fell 79 points. Pilots at United Airlines have said no to a tentative agreement that would have given 15% raises over 18 months. It is the latest setback and pretty sketchy labor talks here between unions and airlines. Pilots say the deal falls short. Unions would like some better raises, some better schedules, as they say the airlines are seeing some major profits right now. From planes, let's go to autos now. Uber saw a 72% increase in revenue in the month of September. There is very strong demand for rides and meal deliveries, even with high inflation and this looming fear of a recession. In September, Uber conducted, how about this, 21 million ride-hailing trips each day. The CEO says the core business is right now stronger than ever. Reporting live, I'm Brian Martin, Phil and Alexis, back to you. Ah, uh, Brian, you can't have a money report without talking about the Powerball mm -hmm. lottery. Mm -hmm. Don't you have to? Well, you guys know someone in Indiana matched five numbers without the Powerball and actually won a million bucks. Congrats to them. But no lucky trick-or-treater won the billion dollars last night, so here we go again. Tomorrow night's drawing is already a reported $1.2 billion now, and that number could go up. It would be the second largest prize in Powerball's 30-year history. I think the largest prize was a few years ago, $1.58 billion. I mean, just... It's, it's ridiculous, guys, but a lot of money on the line here. Oh, I'll yeah. take a million. Uh, right? Go ahead. We need to find our distant cousin. I'll take you that. Just, just like one million. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. You got to be in it to win it. Brian, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow, sir. Okay.